Sagutan natin tong problems. Find the discriminant and identify the nature of roots of the following quadratic equation. So let's start with 1. 2x squared plus 3x minus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. So meron tayong formula for the discriminant. Okay. Let's say D. It's equal to B squared minus 4AC. Kung saan mahanap natin yung values nitong A, B at C. From the general form ng quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, identify muna natin yung values ng a, b, at c dito sa given quadratic equation. So, we have a. Ito yung coefficient ng x squared term, which is 2. b, yung coefficient ng x term, which is positive 3. And c is the constant, which is negative 6. So, substitute lang natin, we have the discriminant d is equal to b. So, that is 3, then square, minus 4, A, it's 2, then times C, which is negative 6. So, we will have 3 squared or 9, then negative 4 times 2 times negative 6, that will be positive 48. So, we have 9 plus 48 or 57. So, kung yung discriminant natin is positive or greater than 0, which is in this problem, yes, positive siya, greater than 0. Masasabi natin na yung nature ng roots ng quadratic equation ay real and unequal. Okay? So, therefore, the discriminant of the quadratic equation is 57, which is positive or greater than 0. And therefore, the nature of the roots will be real and unequal. Next, for number 2, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, let's try to find the discriminant d equal to b squared minus 4ac. So, let's identify a, the coefficient of x squared term, which is the invisible 1, b, the coefficient of x term, which is 2, and c is the constant term, which is positive 1. So, substituting the values in the discriminant formula, we have b, that's 2, so we have 2 squared, minus 4a, that's 1, times c, also 1. So, we will have d is equal to 2 squared, that's 4, minus 4 times 1 times 1, it's just 4. So, therefore, the discriminant d is 4 minus 4 or 0. So, if the discriminant is 0, so if d is 0, we can conclude that the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation will be real and equal. Okay? Next, for number 3, we have 3x squared plus 5x plus 7 is equal to 0. Let's find the discriminant d equal to b squared minus 4ac. Let's identify the coefficients. So, a, the coefficient of x squared, it's 3. b, the coefficient of x term, which is 5. And the constant c is positive 7. So, substituting the values, we have d is equal to b squared. So, we have 5 squared. Minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 7. So, we have 5 squared, that's 25. Then, minus 4 times 3 times 7. So, that's equal to 84. And we have 25 minus 84. It's equal to negative 59. So, therefore, the discriminant is negative 59. And it is negative or less than 0. So, if the discriminant is less than 0, this time the nature of roots will be imaginary and unequal. Or in other words, we can say that the roots are non-real and complex conjugate. Okay. So, therefore, we have the value of the discriminant, negative 59. And since it's negative or less than 0, the nature of the roots will be imaginary and unequal, or in other words, non-real and complex conjugates. Okay, so it's your turn. Hatayin nyo namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.